One of the main issues with the original Skytrack was the delay from when you hit your shot to when the ball actually registers right. on the software. Now, the new Skytrack Plus claims to be a lot faster. So let's put it to the test. So in this video, I'm gonna use a seven iron and we've got the Skytrack Plus hooked up to our simulator. I'm gonna hit five shots with my seven iron and I'm gonna time what the delay is between each shot. Then we're gonna average it out and we're gonna do the same with the Skytrack original and see which one's faster. That was a bit heavy. That strike. Still fading away. Let's say that should be a nice little draw. Come on, draw in for me. Okay, that's my five hit with the Skytrack Plus. Let's hook up the Skytrack original and see if there's any difference. Kind of got used to just chucking it down with the Skytrack Plus, but you have to be a bit more specific where you put it, don't you, on this one? Right, here we go. Skytrack original. Yeah, I'd say there's a little bit of a longer delay there. Felt a bit like it anyway. Oh, that was terrible. I mean, it's not much, but you can definitely sense the difference in time. Oh, we've got a no read. Didn't get any of them with the Skytrack Plus. That's right. It's not looking good for golf this afternoon. Okay, on my first impressions of hitting five shots with the Skytrack Plus and the Skytrack Original, I would say that the Skytrack Original did feel a little bit slower than the Skytrack Plus. However, um, that shot delay, which is quite a big deal for a lot of Skytrack users, and it puts a lot of people off from buying Skytrack, it is still there with the Skytrack Plus. It might be a little bit faster. We're going to have to go and check out the results, so let's find out how it actually got on. So as you can see from these results, we've got the Skytrack Plus on the left hand side and the Skytrack Original on the right hand side. Now the Skytrack Plus, the average time that it took to register the shot on the software is a little over two seconds. Whereas the Skytrack Original, the older Skytrack, was a little bit longer at 2.62 seconds. Now looking at these, the difference, yes, the Skytrack Plus is faster than the original Skytrack, but it's not a lot faster. You're still looking at about a two second delay from once you hit that ball to when it registers on the software. So despite Skytrack's claims to have improved its shot delay, it still doesn't come close to the almost instantaneous feedback that you get from its main rival, the Flightscope Mevo Plus. For a full and comprehensive review of the Skytrack Plus launch monitor and all of its new features, watch the video that's on the screen right now.